welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here my name is cheryl i love decorating my home with style on a budget and i love to try to make it look a lot more expensive than it really is so if you love home decorating and you love home decor and you want your home to feel luxe and <clears throat> like you spent a whole lot of money but you really didn't then this is the channel for you on my channel i show you how to get the luxe look for less i show you how to shop for those things thrifting, on sale, on clearance, upcycling, DIY. So if you wanna save money and you want your home to look like a million bucks, <laughs> then this is a channel for you. So guys, I wanted to come on today and just thank you. Thank you so, so much for all the love, the support, all of your comments that you have given me this year. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. You do not know how much it warms and touches my heart every time you guys love and like a video. Um, as a YouTube content creator, it does take a lot of work to put those videos together. So I do so appreciate it, guys, that you are enjoying the channel content. To all my new subscribers, welcome i hope you guys will enjoy the channel content we're going to be featuring more upcycles more diys more ways to get the lux look for less and if that's what you're here for <laughs> i'm gonna give it to you so you guys know if you're new or maybe if you're not new my old friends <sighs> Thank you for rocking with you, girl. <laughs> you guys, you are ride or die, especially you, Miss New York. <laughs> and Brian. And Captain. All my my old friends who are always here, constantly showing up, watching every video. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to everyone who watches my videos. I greatly appreciate it. You guys, you really don't know how much. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So today's video really is just random things. Oh, I did want to talk to you. So Hobby Lobby, if you didn't know, went 66% off today. Yes. So I know it's early and we haven't even had Christmas 2023, but now is the time to be thinking about Christmas 2024. So... I love the way my home turned out this year, especially my New York apartment. I love the simplicity. I love the modernness of the way I decorated in my loft this year. So next year, we're going to expand that theme to other parts of my home. So do you want to know what my colors are going to be for next year? Yeah, I plan a year in advance. <laughs> um... If you didn't know that about me, I like to plan. I plan what I'm going to do for Christmas, the year, the current year, so I can buy things while they are on sale and it gives me more bang for my buck and I get, again, the Lux look for less. So my colors for next year are going to be the same colors <laughs> that I use every year. Black and white, of course, but we are going to step up the Lux factor. So this year I use gold, silvers, and bronze. Next year we're gonna use those same items. I'm not gonna use the bronze. We are gonna use black, white, and silver is the theme. Silver next year is the color. Black, white, and silver. So as such, I will be going out looking for those items that are going to go on sale that will have a silver finish, a shiny finish, a matte, matte silver finish. It's just gonna be, it's luxe. All I can say is next year, it's going to be luxe. That's the style that I'm going for next year. So as such, I'll be looking for those shiny silver metallic pieces that I can incorporate in the pieces that I already have. So I already know I want some mercury glass Christmas trees. I don't have any of those. I thought I did. And when I went through my stash, I don't. I have like a white glass tree. Um, I have clear glass trees, but no mercury glass trees. And I want the mercury glass trees to bring in that luxe modern look for next year. So I'm going to be on the hunt for mercury glass Christmas trees. I'm going to be on the hunt 
for your over the top, very expensive looking ornaments, the kind that you would see at Front Gate or at Grandin Road or at Our House. Um, and the place I'm gonna look for those is Home Goods. Home Goods has such beautiful, beautiful Christmas decorations, and I always wait for them to go on sale. You guys saw those mercury glass ornament balls that I picked up at half price from Home Goods. Well, well, we're going to be looking for more of those again this year because, yeah, the Lux and Modern it's coming out in full effect. It's it's going to be black tie. That's what I'm going for, black tie. I, as a matter of fact, that's gonna that's gonna be our Christmas theme next year, black tie. So, if you like me like to plan ahead, now is the time for you to go out and look for the things that you are going to use next year. Now, tomorrow's never promised to anyone. We all know this, but it doesn't hurt to plan. So <laughs> that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna plan. All right, now the other thing I want to do next year that I think is going to be really, really fun. You guys know how I like to hang ornaments from the ceiling. Well, next year, I am going to be doing something so, so much more elaborate. And it's inspired by these hanging balls that you see here. So we're going to be doing something like that. I'm so excited. I think it'll do that. I'm going to do that in my entryway, like I did the hanging balls in the entryway this year. So oh, I think it's going to be so pretty, so luxe, but it's not going to be gold. It's going to be silver, metallics. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. So yeah, I'm excited about that. So that is the, the look that I'm going for next year black tie. Um, I saw some items or some photo inspiration on Pinterest. You guys know I love to go to Pinterest looking for ideas, something that helps me or spark my imagination. And that's what I did. So I saw these really luxe photos and I'll put those here um, on Pinterest. And that is what sparked the idea of my luxe black tie Christmas theme next year. So modern luxe black tie. And how do, what are you thinking? Well, how does that, what does that look like? Again, the mercury glass trees, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for your shiny metallics. We're going to be, again, using black. I'm going to bring back my black frost Christmas tree. You remember that a couple of years ago? This year I used white trees. Next year, we're going to bring out the black frost tree. And because I'm allergic to flocking, I am on the hunt for a new Christmas tree. Now, the Christmas tree that I bought this year from Amazon and my loft, I absolutely love. I love the natural lookingness of that tree. It's it's a, it just screams elegance to me. Um, I used to be into flock trees. I have a couple of flock trees, but I don't know. They just don't give me the same glam, elegant look. Um, as a modern tree in my, or just a plain green tree in my opinion. So I am going to be looking for a bigger green tree. You know, I have the green tree in my lounge, which is the Christmas day tree. I love it. So I, now I have two green trees. So next year, now it's too late, but next year I'm going to sell my flocked Christmas trees on Facebook Marketplace and I'm going to use that money to buy other things. But right now I am on the hunt looking for a green Christmas tree. Yeah, I, I can't wait. Leave me a comment down below. Are you a plain green tree type of person or do you like flock trees? Leave me a comment, I would love to know. So that's gonna be the theme for next year. And th so I thought I would come on and share my ideas with you guys and to spark your imaginations for next year. So leave me a comment down below. Do you think about the following year's Christmas theme or do you wait until you're in that year and it gets closer to Christmas and then you decide what you're going to be going to do? I would be interested to know. I like to plan ahead. Again, I don't like to save money until so I shop after the holiday or just before the holiday and when everything is marked down and that's when I buy, especially your high-end stores like CB2, Pottery Barn, 
start watching those stores because they are going to start clearancing out their Christmas stuff. And that is the time to buy. As a matter of fact, I think I need to go to CB2 right now and see what else they put on clearance. <laughs> you guys know I love CB2. And uh, yeah, I ordered those white luster ornaments. I think they're going to look so pretty. I put them on the tree in my New York apartment for this year. But yeah, those are really pretty. That um, mercury glass finial that I bought. Oh, that is so pretty. So again, those things I bought this year, but I am on clearance. But I am going to be using them again next year in my black tie theme. So let me just do I have anything. Oh, so yesterday I had my annual family Christmas party. Everyone loved the Christmas decorations. It's like, Cheryl, this is the best, one of the best Christmas parties you've had yet. And it just made me so happy that my family loves to come over and they love to see what I've created <laughs> each year. Each year I do something different, as you guys know. So I didn't film that. Um, but let's just, it was a very, very fun party. Um, everyone had a great time. Oh, I do want to share with you a couple of things. And I wanted to share with you, I didn't film any of that because again, it is, you know, it's a Christmas party. I want to spend time with my family and not have to worry about doing any video, but I wanted to share with you a few things that I got. So, I have this planner that I got for my niece. I thought it was so, so pretty. And yeah, it's perfect going into the new year for 2024. It'll help me stay on track with doing my YouTube videos. So I got this, this was very nice. I also got some Bath and Body Works candles. I don't know if you guys know this about me or not, but I love Bath and Body Works candles. This one is called Candy Emporium. Mm, it smells so good. It smells like you're going to a fair, if um, like a carnival. This one is Tis the Season. It smells like spiced apples. I got these for my mother. It's very nice so thoughtful she knows i love candles i love burning candles when i take a bath and those will be lit up tonight and she also got me these really cute candle holders look how nice these are so so pretty and it's got the gold with the the jewels a touch of bling she knows me so well so yeah love these these are a few of the items that i got I also got more candles from Bath and Body Works. I got this fresh balsam again. I just love this candle. <laughs> it smells so, so good. I had it burning all night last night and I can still smell it in the house today. I had one in each room and every room that I go into, I can smell it. So I got this one. That is the perfect winter. I love the winter candle. And I think these other ones are all, yeah, fresh balsam. <laughs> it's my favorite. Leave me a comment down below and let me know, what is your favorite candle from Bath & Body Works? Everyone tells me I should try the peppermint, that it's so nice, so refreshing. So I think I'll try that next, but leave me some comments down below. Drop me a few comments. Let me know what is your favorite candle from Bath & Body Works that I should try. I'm looking for some new scents. These will be burned all winter. So, you know, summer's coming up, so I need some new scents. So leave me some comments down below, let me know. Oh, I also wanted to show you these topiaries. So I have topiaries outside on my porch and they've been out there for a while and they're starting to fall apart so i had to get some new ones these came from amazon from the barnyard it was two of them and they were like 60 dollars for both of them i don't know i'll have to look um but yeah i haven't put these out yet i need to do that but since they're over here, I thought I would just share with share them with you today. It's just 
a random day in the life, so not really a lot going on. All right, guys, so that is everything that I have to share with you today. I think this is going to be my last video for a while. Um, I want to enjoy the holidays with my friends, my family, my children, my grandchildren. So I think I'm going to take a small break, but leave me a comment down below and let me know what type of videos you would like to see in the coming season. Um, uh, we haven't did, we, I don't think we really did a lot of DIYs this year. We did a few, but not a lot. Let me know if you want to see me do more DIYs, more upcycles. I do like those, that those are fun to do. Thrifting, we didn't do a lot of thrifting because I'm trying to cut back on things I'm bringing into my home. If you bring something in, something must go out. If not, you become a hoarder and we don't want to be that, right? Um, but I do love thrifting. So if you like those type of videos, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you would like to see more of those. Just because we go thrifting doesn't mean we have to pick up anything, right? But who am I kidding? You and I both know <laughs> if I find something I like, I'm going to pick it up. But leave me a comment down below. Let me know what type of videos you would like to see next year. And with that, my friends, I wish you and your families a very happy, Merry Christmas and a wonderful holiday season. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.